Just gonna get back with another video. We're gonna jump straight into it as we always do. It's not too late to turn the energy around. I like to say we're not having a good day. It's not too late to turn the energy around. This dragonfly has not stopped falling over me. It's very persistent, consistent. So that's the energy getting some way. So I just wanted to tap into the idea of and how it works, how the spiritual realm works, what I see when I am connecting in the spiritual realm. I may share some of my experiences, maybe. I guess we'll just let this flow and see how it goes, if it makes sense. I will start off with the fact that I do not feel, personally, that it is a full scary experience. Yes, there are scary experiences, but that's not what is entirely solely based around, if that makes sense. Through each experience, it grows and it teaches you things things through each spirit who I have encountered I have grown and I have learned something from each one again I like to refer to the TV show Ghost Whispers I, I kind of embody her energy a lot when it comes to me wanting to help the spirits and me they, like, they come to me a lot they're very active with me they show me things they, they do these pop-ups where um, they kind of like show me their death and show me scenes of like what happened and they just want closure they just want to have their spirit to be free and not so heavy. So the same way that I can heal a person on the, on the physical realm, I can heal a person on the spiritual realm as well. And that's what I do. That's my work. I heal both sides. And I help both sides along the journey. When it comes to death, they always taught the concept that there is no life after death. They've always taught the concept that anything outside of God and angels is nothing but the devil and demons and his, and his little minions, right? It's so much more deeper than that, though. The universe is so much bigger. There's so much out here. You know what I mean? And it's like, Energy does not die. We are energetic beings, meaning that our spiritual to our core, we are like a burst of energy, right? Energy cannot die. You can look that up right now. It will tell you energy does not die. So if energy does not die, where does it go? Only the flesh can die. It even speaks about it in the Bible. The flesh can die multiple times. The spirit can go through an awakening go through shifts the spirit can also go through the descendants meaning that you go the opposite way your spirit descends your spirit goes down when you are operating in the spiritual realm this is where the spirits go once they leave this earth realm they go into the spiritual realm right this is where i do majority of my mediumship work the different realms ties into dimensions. They talk about dimensions in science. You can back up the spiritual realm. You can back up death with science. You know, they contradict themselves all the time. So it's like in this realm, in these dimensions, you have these different levels and different stages of where the spirits are. Same way as you do in this physical realm on the 3D. We have people in different mental states and they're living in different realities and different worlds, even though we're on the same planet. The same thing happens in the spirit realm, depending on how they passed away, depending on what they were thinking about when they passed away, depending on where their soul journey was when they passed away, how heavy their soul was, how, like, again, how you died. It's like, that matters when it comes to where they would be placed in the spiritual realm. And this is where people like me are sent in to help these people in these different realms, in these different stages of their journey in the, in the afterlife. We are on a physical. We are planted here to help them cross over. So it is God's work. You know what I mean? We are earth angels. We are planted here. We are, we are seed planters on this realm to be able to help those cross over into the afterlife. To be able to help them properly get to where their destination is in the spiritual realm. We are the seers. We are the, we are the ones who can hear and see, and see all, if that makes sense. So we're basically sent in to help these different spirits on their journey we're here to help them heal so they come to us and they speak to us and a lot of times they want us to help us speak to our loved ones for them 
I've helped a lot of people on the physical heal from grief. They always say grief, you can't, that's not a healing thing. Oh, I have testimonial. People who are able to tell that yes, you can heal from grief. No, it would not go away as far as you will always miss that person. You will always feel that person. You will always cry sometimes, you know? Because that's natural, that's a part of healing. But that hole in your heart, you don't, that's only because you're disconnected from them once they passed away. You shut that off. You shut the energetic cord off. You shut that connection off. And once you begin to understand what, what death really is, what it means, the true understanding that they are not, like, they're still here. They still can touch you, hug you, kiss on you. Whisper things in your ear, talk to you, give you signs, move things, you move pictures, knock pictures down. Like, oh my gosh, like, oh, when they want to get your attention, they go get your attention. You know what I'm saying? Whether they're scared you or not. And it's because that's how strong their love and drive is for you as you being their loved one. They want that connection. They want that. They don't want it to be like that. They want to heal that hole in your heart. They want you to understand, hey, I'm here. You don't have to feel like I'm gone. You don't have to feel like it's no more of me. You don't have to feel like never again because it's not that. Right now in this very moment, you can feel me. You can feel my warmth. You can feel my hugs. You can feel my kisses, you know? They want you guys to know that. For anyone who don't fully understand that concept. When I'm in that rhythm, I see a lot of things. A lot of them are battling. Say, for instance, someone has lost themselves to suicide or like a quick death. A lot of times they grieve within that state, especially suicide. If someone had lost themselves to suicide, a lot of times exactly what they were feeling before they passed away, they're still feeling in that rhythm because you still have to heal. That's a spirit. That's energy. Energy does not die. It just travels. So it's going to come with you. For someone who's had a quick death, such as car accident or just something. The ones who have had the fatal or subtle, the subtle deaths, they... um. Most of them go into like a shock type of period where they have like this disbelief or not wanting to like let go, you know, and they have their own stage and area. You have the ones who've been murdered and the ones who've been like taken unjustly and they have, it's, it's like order within their spirit realm, you know, um, depending on what happened to the per person depends on how their soul decides to move on or not move on. Some people are housebound where they're stuck in houses and this when you have your paranormal activity, like your hundred houses, like your, um, guys type of energy, you know what I mean? You have some that like to take on objects. You have some that are just, was it was mean as, they was mean as hell when they was on this realm. So they mean as hell in the spirit realm. They mean spirits. They're not demons. They're just mean spirited, you know? And they do things. And so it's like, you have those. And people will, people cast everything as demon, 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 devil, demon, demon, devil. Everything that's unknown, unfamiliar to the brain, to the mind, the unit, the the world has taught you to just cast it down as evil. We gotta stop living like that. We have to learn to understand and have compassion and have understanding and ask for understanding, ask for that knowledge. You know what I mean? It's like when I go into these rhythms, it's such a learning experience for me, it's such a growth experience for me, it's such an appreciation experience for me. You know what I mean? Gratitude towards life, understanding towards life. And I am grateful to have the understanding that I do, the, the comprehension that I do when it comes to this world. I'm beyond and forever grateful for that. We all should be, you know, we all should continue to ask for that. It's like, I would, I, I'll make go into some of my experiences. If you guys want me to go into some of my experiences, you can drop it in the comment below and I'll make a different video about it. Um, my bookings are open for anyone anyone wanting to book a reading with me. My cash app is in my bio. I am accepting donations as well. You can DM me at uno.neo144 and my Gmail is in my description box as well for anyone wanting to just reach out or have any comments or anything that you would like to say or anyone wanting to book a reading, you can book through there as well. I don't know if I said it already, but I am accepting donations as well. Love and light to you guys.